there. Welcome back to Corpse Factory, where we have a decent amount to work with. <laughs> Surprisingly. Oh. Uh, that would have been awkward. <laughs> of course. Early on, and shuffles in a, on the spot. Looks back at the factory and rolls the door. At the loading dock, wide open. Bring the trolley. Okay. Walks away and I grab the trolley and wheel it back to the loading dock. I'm at. I abandon the trolley and step inside the factory. Uh, yeah. The outline of. Sleeping bo uh, of a sleeping body, ever being begins to stir. I make uh, my way to the town laying on cold concrete floor. It's a worn out thing, frayed fabric, torn edges. Laying on top of it, covered by a thin blanket. Girl of my dreams. Uh -huh. What time is it? Time to get up. Oh, come on. Got work to do. Aww. How many deliveries today? That's the other girl. I'm just the muscle. Here. I reach my hands out to her. Some way I do it every morning. She never takes it. Instead, she slowly climbs to her feet without assistance. She's still wearing yesterday's clothes, yesterday's makeup, feet. Does she charge When are you going back home? This is my home now. You need a shower. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. My place smells terrible, like rotting flesh. I can't get the odor out. It's been getting worse since I first moved in there. This place smells too. Look at what's around you. I gestured towards the racks of cadavers that fill the factory. We acquired some warehouse racks some time ago. It didn't take long for us to fill it full. Well, most of shells and cadavers. Oh, this must be just straight up rotting. No cooling, no way to keep it all cold. Industrial air conditioner installed. Gave off the day for a little while, but not long enough. Try not to let each cadaver remain here. More than a few days. Sometimes we forget. Yeah. It's so cold here. All the time. It's not like Dad's factory at all. The stench can make anyone's eyes water. We just seem to be getting used to it. I like it here. The smell here is different. It's nice. Okay. You probably have requests to work on. I'll leave you be. Mariko doesn't say anything. The thoughtful, a thoughtful expression covers her face. I make my way back towards the trolley. We've been overwhelmed with work lately. Seems like Corpse, Corpse Girl's website has become next to big trend in Japan. Dozens of requests prior to every day, and every day, a lot of people are wanted dead. They don't care about the reason why. They just do it for her. It's all for Noriko. Couldn't care less about Corpse Girl. Ambition, whatever. 
he normally says. Redemption never says. I want to provide proof to her that I'm useful, good, and worthy. This is the only way I can think of to earn her love. Uh, no, I think at best you've been friend zoned, bro. It might be Reb Lothkos. I took it, told her I was doing it for corpses. Wanted to get my hands on some for myself. But that was a lie. All of it. Why would I need her to acquire corpses? I work at the morgue. <laughs> Do it himself. Been stealing for years. Stealing from them. Stealing them for years. I just needed to. I just needed her to believe she could motivate me. Bringing. Bragging. Bringing. Trolling. When she achieves her goal, it may be, I'll talk to her, a heart to heart. Maybe I'll even propose. Can't let a girl like her slip away. Too precious. Beautiful. Too bordering. And uh, the I need her. It's as simple as that. <laughs> well, at least he's being honest about it. Since the first time I laid eyes on her, over a year ago, that day she moved into her apartment. I my eyes closed ever since. I must have her. I, I will have her. I'll do anything for Noriko. Physical labor always makes me hungry. A normal human trait, I would assume. A little bit. I take a seat and restart the. and restart. Uh, uh, at a restaurant and place an order once the wait arrives. Reading for a meal is boring. I to read. Today's book is the the Brussel. Do Brussel? It's something like that. I borrowed it from Noriko. Doesn't know. And I flip open the cover, I'm reminded of why I'm coming here. I once saw Nariko at this very same restaurant. She was eating Morris, Morris and reading Strange Flower. She didn't eat much. Three mouthfuls, if all correctly. Ah, I was while ago. But she read her book. So the restaurant closed. I learned that girl that would rather f your mind than body. I'm personally the opposite of the each. <laughs> I'll be honest. Also like eating. I should not eat as much. <laughs> But I find Noriko's traits appearing. Hard not to fall for someone in love with hating herself. It so touched my heart that she was to read a book I lent her. Think of it, I never did get back get that back from her. Probably overdue at the library now. Maybe I shouldn't show my face there again. 
added to the list of places I can't visit anymore. <laughs> My meal arrived. Amaris? I dig in it. It's tasty. I assume this is Narco's favorite. Funnily enough, it was Dad's favorite too. Power the dish. Finish. I like the lack. I like to lick the plate clean. Wise earner. Always earns a look from the staff. At least none of the food's going to waste. <laughs> I could care less. None of the food's going to waste, man. I cannot judge. <laughs> and who knows? It might make the their job a little bit easier. All you have to do is just rinse it off, make sure it's wiped down, and, sh and then just pass it on. Heat from the meal has fogged up the glass. My glasses. I take them off and keep them clean on my shirt. I know you. Thanks to my natural blurry vision, I can't see who's down across from me. I quickly, re quickly return my glasses to their rightful place. Go Jimbo, right? Jumbo? Jumbo? Right. Kojiro. I don't think so. Trust me. You are? Junpei Matsumoto. Yeah. The brown stranger offers his hand to me. I don't reciprocate the, the gesture. Can I help you? Nah, man. Just hanging. You know? It's all you here wanted to say. What's up? What's up? Hey, at least he's a friendly dude. I cannot judge that man. He seems like super friendly. <laughs> His ability will go up to someone and go, yo, how you doing? <laughs> that kind of thing. I don't know you. I'll be going. Stay a while. Let's talk about Corpse Girl. Words prevent me from. Oh. Adam. What about Corpse Girl? She's killed a lot of people, right? Like, a hell of a lot of people. Probably. I don't know. Come on, man. You're in her crew, yeah? I've seen you lifting at the morgue. You run that white piece of shit van. Am I right? I don't... Careful now. I can find you. It can't be that hard for the cops to pinch you. What do you want? Like I said, just wanted to say what's up. He knows too much. He knows way too much. <laughs> the foul man leans across the table. That breath reeks more than the factory. I want to know how you guys do it. How do you get up every morning knowing that there's a killer out there even more powerful and successful than Corpse Girl? I know exactly what he's referring to. I try not to let my face betray me. It's true that Girl has some tough competition. Around the time Narco triggered her sister, somebody hacked Corpse Girl's website. Ever since then, a new string, string of deaths have raged across the Tokyo. Wildfire. Yeah, not caused by Corpse Girl. A starting, it started off with copycat killers killing Noriko's request. People that were sentenced to death via Corpse Girl's website. We found dead before we could reach them. That didn't last long. After a while, uh, completely unrelated people head across the city. Those, people whose deaths have been requested through the website. But we stopped worrying about it. Marco was happy as long as her victims weren't 
fucking oh, her or porch. Coach. She didn't care if someone else was running a similar operation. As long as they kept their hands off her prey. I haven't given it much thought. Then. And then this guy appears out of nowhere. Pretty damn obvious that he's involved with the copycat killer. Seems around. Those who I what I've been doing. Those that there are two separate powers out the out there killing. Doesn't take much to figure him out. What's your method? Excuse me? You kill faster than corpse grow. How? Whoa there, buddy. I don't kill anyone. Here, check this shit. Human removal services. We remove all the human beings. Take advantage of our free and effective removing solution. We fill your name on the address of the being you'd like to remove. That shows me his phone. There's a web page on the screen. It looks similar to Corpse Girl's website. Not the same. Read the name of the site out loud. The Human Removal Service. Nice, huh? What is this? Just read it. I do as I'm told. Photograph of inf photograph of information. Below. Site title. To remove unwanted human beings. Take advantage of our free and effective removal solution. Clear your name and address of one being you would like to remove. Along the text is the form to be filled out, like the one on Pulp's World website. I think I get it. This is the copycat's own website. They are running an identical operation, accompanying users' request for victims' details, and then somehow carrying out killing. But how far do the similarities extend? Are they creating corpse photos to send to victims? Are they forcing victims to kill themselves? Or out permitted murder. Are they delivering corpses to victims? You involved with this? Nah, just a fan. Used to be a corpse girl fanboy. That shit was wild. It. Then I discovered this site. It's so much cooler. More profesh, you know? Can I lean in one? Or this side once what happened Gaia wanted to die you disappeared off the face of the planet within 24 hours can you believe it and they're offering the service for free hmm. there's no doubt about it this guy is involved with copycat and the website he here to taunt me, pressure me, knows who I am. It, what is his end game? And from here, I think it's best to end the episode here. Let people question. Up, I hope you guys have a great, well, Sam, and a great day too. Now I'm gonna question what this guy's planning to do. I'll see you guys next time.